Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing an early fall makeup look. If you know me, you know how much I love fall. I know it's still September, I know we still have like a month left, and I know it's still 90 degrees outside, at least here where I live in PA, it's like still super humid. But as soon as September is here, I'm just in fall mode to the max. I'm already thinking about how I'm gonna decorate my house. I'm thinking about fall fashion, fall makeup. Like I'm in fall mode basically, and this makeup is just, it's adding to the fuel. So I'm gonna be using lots of favorites today, a couple of newer favorites that I recently discovered that I love and a lot of drugstore products here and I also want to thank Haley's Beauty for sponsoring today's video. So Haley's Beauty is having their Labor Day sale right now as you guys are watching this September 3rd all the way to September 8th. So basically if you spend over $40 you get $10 off, no code needed. Also the Haley's Beauty Retouch Perfecting Loose Setting Powder which is my absolute favorite loose setting powder is halfway sold out so if you guys have been wanting to try it out or you want to get a backup of it it's a perfect time to do it. So check out the powder, check out their primers, their foundations, their beauty sponge is so good. They have lots of great products and it's genuinely one of my favorite brands to work with and to use. I use them all the time on camera, off camera. Their products are cruelty free, vegan, fragrance free, and they have a lot of really good ingredients in them. And each of their products actually have a skincare benefit in them, which I love. And I always love to mention this because I'm all about girl power, but the founder of Haley's is a female chemist. Her name is Ashley and this is her right here. Absolutely beautiful. I love the team behind Haley's. They are some of the sweetest people I have ever worked with. And how freaking cute is their dog? This is actually their office pup called Bruno, like Bruno. I die. You guys know how much I love my dog Bernard and they love Bernard as well. We're always sending pictures back and forth of our dogs and if I could have like three, four dogs, I definitely would. They're just such a great brand all around. Great quality products, great team. So definitely check them out. Go show them some love and yeah, we're just going to jump into this look. So grab a snack, get cozy. For real, get cozy because we're going to get into some fall glam. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so we are starting off of course with no makeup, a fresh face. I'm going to do my brows first. I'm going to be using the Precision brow pencil from Joa Beauty. This is one of my favorites. You can get Joa Beauty at CVS and I really like this one because it has a really nice tiny tip and it also comes with the spoolie on the end. I'm going to use this just to outline my brows like always and just follow with my natural brow shape. I completely ran out of my ColourPop Precision brow pencil which is like my holy grail brow pencil. So I'm using this one, which is another favorite. I remember my brows used to take me forever. Like I could literally spend almost 30 minutes on my eyebrows way back when, a few years back. But now it doesn't take me very long to do them anymore. Like, and I think what helped me a lot with my brows is not getting them waxed as much. I used to get my brows waxed consistently, like at least once a month. But ever since I stopped doing that, I feel like my brows are just so much easier to like actually do, like fill in and everything. And I just do them myself at home now. I don't even remember the last time I got my brows waxed, to be honest. Then to fill in my brows, I'm gonna switch it up. I always use my e.l.f. liner and brow cream, but I've actually really been loving this one too from Reina Rebelde. It's their eye paint for brows and eyes, and this one is in the shade Frida. So it's basically just like a brow pomade, but I really love the formula of this. It's like really great, lasts all day, and it just glides on the brows. Okay, I was just hyping up my brows and now this one's looking a little crazy, but we're gonna clean it up and it's gonna look better, but I really do love this pomade. And then to clean up the brows, I'm gonna use the NYX Full Coverage Concealer and this one's in the shade Beige. It's just like one of those concealers in a jar. Works really good because it's nice and thick and creamy. And to do this, I'm actually gonna use a BH Cosmetics 01 brush. This was from their Marble Collection. I really love these brushes, they're so good. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. Sculpt out the brows. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, like always, and I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. I don't know if you can really tell, but this eyebrow is just so much more sculpted and defined, whereas this one's kind of just like, meh. I know not everybody likes to clean up their brows. Totally optional. I feel like some people don't need to, to be honest. Like for me, I feel like it just helps because my brows are already naturally uneven, so it kind of helps a little bit to make them look semi-symmetrical, like, you know, as if they're friends. I know friends, sister, <laughs> brows are supposed to be, what do they say, sisters, or not twins, I don't know, whatever. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Brows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. That's what it is. If I don't clean them up, they're not even friends. When I do clean them up, they're like cousins, you know what I mean? So like related, but like they, they look a little bit alike, but not too much. Okay, now we can finally jump into the eyeshadow, which I'm very excited about, because I have like a palette that I feel like is perfect for fall, but first, 
we gotta prime the lid. So I just got a fresh pomade. I made an order on Ulta and this is my favorite eyeshadow pomade. Did I say pomade? I meant primer. Um, this is the NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer, which is so good. Makes your shadows pop, last all day. So I'm just gonna put this on all over my lid. Okay, now for eyeshadows, I'm gonna be using the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes Palette. You guys, this is the perfect fall palette. Like, let me tell you. This is fall in a palette right here. These warm neutrals are so, like, just warm and cozy. I don't know how a palette can be cozy, but this is, like, warm and cozy. I like how this is a warm palette, but it's not overwhelming. I feel like a lot of warm palettes nowadays, they have, like, bright oranges and purples and reds, which I love, but this is, I feel like, just really soft and sultry and very wearable. So I've really been enjoying this. I've actually been using a lot of the matte shades lately just to do, like, like everyday glam and I really love the formula of these are super great quality it's just the perfect fall palette so I'm gonna start off with this color right up here which is called nudist I'm just gonna put that right in my crease I'm also gonna put it on my lid as well Okay, I'm gonna use a smaller brush just to concentrate the product this is one of my favorites the elf and Kissa j1 brush I'm just gonna pack on that color right in the socket of my eye. Perfect. And then I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit with the J3 brush. I love this color, it's so pretty. So I love this brush because I feel like it's really good for packing on matte shades. It has the perfect amount of like density and fluffiness to it. The next color I'm gonna take is this shade up here. It's like a more mid-tone brown. And I'm just gonna take that right on the outer crease. And then I'm gonna use the BH and Nazanin Kavari number six brush, which is like a bigger fluffy blending brush. And I'm gonna take this color right here on the bottom, which is like a light mustard. It's so wearable. And I'm just gonna kind of add that in there as well. So I'm gonna take the shade Aesthetic, which is like a red tone brown, and then a little bit of mink and just mix those two. And then with these two, I really just wanna again, focus them on the outer portion. So I'm using a smaller brush just to be a little bit more precise. So again, I'm kind of like holding my brush like this and then I'm taking that eyeshadow and I'm just like running it back and forth. Doesn't really have to be perfect to be honest. It's almost gonna look like a messy kind of smoky eye which I love that look. All right, we are nice and smoky and now I'm gonna add the bronzy color which this one is called Bron wait, what is it? Bronziana? Bronziana? Yeah, Bronziana. So I'm gonna take this Bronziana shade. I'm gonna add that all over the lid. So I'm gonna spray my brush because I always like to do that just to really make the color pop a little bit more. Look at this ginormo Make It Last spray from Milani. I didn't know that they were this big. I was like actually shocked. Found this at Super Walmart and this is my favorite drugstore setting spray. We'll be using that later on, but I'm gonna just spray my brush and then just add that color right on the lid, kind of like the inner third. Then I'm gonna do my winged liner and I'm actually gonna use the KVD Vegan Beauty Tattoo Liner. So this one is in the shade Trooper Black. It's just like a felt tip liner and I'm gonna use this to do my wing. Oh, she is thick and she is like on point, literally. Oh gosh. Okay, this is like 2016 all over again. So typically what I do, I just take like a makeup wipe and I just wipe that long tail away to make it a little bit shorter and a little bit more wearable for me personally. I used to extend my wings like all the way out to my ears. So now I still do a thick wing, but like it's a little bit more wearable. 
and less dramatic. I mean, for me, this is less dramatic. I'm gonna do some mascara. I'm using the Hard Candy Dare to Extend Ultimate Lash Extension Mascara. I just tested this out in a first impressions video and I really, really like it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of this and then I'm gonna go in with falsies. We have some options today with lashes. I don't know which ones I'm gonna do, but they're gonna be dramatic. So we have some choices. Okay, I have the, these are actually new from Kiss. They're the Lash Couture Max Out Lashes. So these look really, really pretty. Just like super wispy and flared out. I also have the Ilore Bronze Beauty Lashes, which I feel like are very fitting with this look as well. And then I have the Ilore Dramatic 3D number 196 Lashes, which I just talked about in my Target haul. Which ones are we gonna do? I don't know. Let's try these and see how they look, the Max Out Lashes. I always like to place them on my eyes first, just so the kind I know like what we're working with before I put the lash glue on. <gasps> I love these. They're so dramatic. Oh, these are perfect for fall. They're really long and like curly and wispy and kind of tapered. Okay, these are it. Okay, so I'm just setting those aside for like a minute or two and now we're gonna move into the skin in the meantime. So I'm gonna start with a little primer water. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Soothing Facial Oil Mist. This one I just tested out also in my recent drugstore video. This is really hydrating and very refreshing on the skin. It doesn't technically say it's supposed to be like a primer water, but I've been using it as one and I really like it. So good. They have a bunch of different ones as well, but I think the soothing one is my favorite. Now to further prime the skin, I'm gonna go in with the Haley's Refine Primer. You guys know I love this. This fills in your pores and leaves your skin looking so smooth. And it's one of the only pore filling primers in my entire collection. Like this is definitely like top five where you can actually see the difference between one side of your face versus the other. Like it's so smoothing. This has spherical powder in it. So that's what's gonna give you that smooth airbrush look to the skin. And I find that this works so well with any foundation that I use. I feel like it's just like universal Universal pore filling primer. It's amazing. So smooth and so soft. Now we're ready for foundation, but let me put on the lashes first. Okay, lashes are on. I already am obsessed with them. They're so pretty and like so wispy and they were really easy to apply. Like the band is like very flexible. I also don't know how I always manage to get glitter on my face. Like never fails every single time, but let's just, let's just move on. So I'm going to use the Haley's Beauty Reform Liquid Luxe Luminous Foundation. You guys already know this is one of my favorite holy grail luminous foundations. It is so pretty. It has great coverage and I love it for any time of year. Honestly, I love this in the summer, in the winter, in the fall. It's just a great foundation for every day or if you're doing something more glam like today super healthy very pretty on the skin and I just love the coverage of it and it lasts all day I'm gonna mix two shades today I'm gonna use 2.50 and 3.25 and this foundation has plant derived ribose in it which is what gives your skin like that radiant kind of glow which I love it's not too much though so again it's a very wearable foundation even in the heat it's one of my favorites and then I'm gonna use their remix complexion sponge I love this sponge it's a good dupe for the beauty blender and I love how it says Haley's right like in the sponge it's embedded it's so cute so I'm just gonna take this, start pouncing that in the skin. So good, like every single time I wear this, I'm just like, how is this so good? And then mixed with the primer, like it really is like such a poreless combo. Like I'm telling you guys, I'm obsessed. I normally just do one layer of this because I feel like the coverage is that good where I don't need to build it up. Then for concealer, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo. This one is in medium peach. Another really great product that's just, it works every single time. And I'm actually running low on this, which is a big deal. I don't really run out of concealers, but I use this like almost every single time I do my makeup. So we are glowy, we got great coverage, and now we're ready for some cream bronzer. So I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in the shade Baked, which is one of my favorites. Such a creamy product, and cream bronzer is always a must. So I'm gonna use this with my Fenty 125 face brush. I'm just gonna dip directly into the product. And then just give myself a natural little chisel. This is really just gonna add some warmth back to the skin. I feel like using creams underneath powders, like when you use a cream blush or a cream bronzer, it kind of just makes your powders 
lasts a little bit longer too on the skin. Look at that color. This brush also, like I cannot get enough of it. Like this is pretty much the only brush that I use nowadays to do my cream bronzer. I know it's expensive, but like it's really worth it. Like. I promise I'll be the first to tell you when an expensive product is worth it. And this is it. It makes any cream product on your face look so flawless and airbrush. Like you could use anything and this brush works with it. It's amazing. So I like to kind of press down the product just so I'm not rubbing away any of the foundation or concealer or anything on the face. Cool, so now for powder, of course, I'm gonna use the Haley's Beauty Retouch Perfecting Loose Setting Powder. You guys already know. Looks like this. This is just my favorite, the best, all year round. It's such a great powder. It has soybean oil in it, so it's not gonna be drying on the skin. So even if you have dry skin, if it's in the fall, in the winter, if it's cooler outside, it's just a great setting powder that just works anytime, anywhere with any product. It's just that good. So smoothing, so airbrushed, and it looks beautiful in pictures. We're gonna jump into bronzer. I'm just gonna bronze the skin and pretty much just go over where I did the cream bronzer. And I'm gonna use my Pacifica Bronzer Duo. And I'm actually gonna use the highlighter in here as well. And I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics and Azanine Kavari brush. This is the number one brush. Pretty much just gonna go over the cream just to of course set everything. I'm just gonna bronze my chest because that is much needed. I will also even like bronze my ears as well. Once your hair starts looking like this, then you're doing it right. So that's pretty much it for that. Now for blush, I have a new favorite drugstore blush. It's so good and it's like the perfect fall blush. So this is the Essence The Blush and it's called Bespoke number 20. You guys, this is the perfect like toasty, bronzy kind of blush and it's $3. Like you cannot go wrong with this. I'm gonna use another brush from the BH and Nazanin palette or brush set. <laughs> and sometimes I do cream blush, other times I don't. I just wasn't really feeling it today. And then I'm just gonna set my brows really quick and I'm gonna use the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Black. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna use the one from the Pacifica palette. It's called Glow Baby. And then this BH number no. five brush from the NAS brush kit is perfect for highlighter. It's like really fluffy, but it like diffuses the product really nicely. I'm just gonna do that much. I don't want too much highlight, but I do wanna glow a little bit. And this one's perfect because it's like really like that perfect golden kind of glow, but it's not glittery. I'm gonna finish up the eyes and then we're gonna do lips. I'm gonna just dip my brush into that highlighter and I'm gonna spray it and I'm gonna apply that in the inner corners. All right, let's zoom in and get the lower lashes. So I'm gonna take eccentric and aesthetic and I'm gonna just apply those right on the lower lash line. Come on camera, there we go. <laughs> then for the waterline, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. This one's in Sunny Veil. Vale. It's from their new collection. I mean, they have like a million and one collections now, but it's from like their Sunflower collection, I think it's called, but it's just like a chocolate kind of brown. And I feel like it's gonna be nice with this look cause it's super warm. Now for lips, I'm really excited because I'm gonna do some brown kind of like chocolatey lips, which I feel like are perfect for fall. So I'm gonna take the Milani Understatement Lip Liner. This one is in Saucy Toffee. It's just like a true brown. These are so creamy and wearable. You could honestly just wear these on their own like with no lipstick over top because that's how good they feel on the lips. And then I'm gonna use the Milani Understatement Lip Liner. This one is in 160 Cafe Olay. So it's a little bit lighter. Well, actually it's much lighter than the one that I just used, but still in like that warm kind of brown category.
I'm like debating if I want to do this liquid lipstick because I really just love the way the lip liners look. So I have Smashbox liquid lipstick in its slate tan here. Let's do a little bit, kind of like right in the center. Yes. I love glossy lips, so I'm gonna just take a little bit of the Ardell Vinyl Vixen Lip Lacquer in the shade Kinky Nude. I'm just gonna add some of this. And I'm just using a little bit. I kinda just want something to make this a little bit more comfortable. The Smashbox Lip Lipsticks are nice, but obviously they're matte, so I want like a slight gloss, but nothing too crazy. And last but not least, I'm gonna set my makeup and I'm gonna use my Ginormo Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And we are all done with this look. So this is the completed fall makeup look, or early fall makeup look. It's literally still summer, but here we are. I'm obsessed with this. I'm like in such a fall mood now. I feel like I wanna go out and like decorate my house, get a hot drink, which that's coming very soon. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link everything down below. If you've been wanting to stock up on some favorites or try out some new products from Haley's, it's the perfect time to do it. And yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing well, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.